Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown at the Center for Better Bones. Today I want to talk about a simple, simple ways you can detect inflammation. As you know, inflammation is one of the causes of all kinds of disorders in the body and certainly is the major cause of osteoporosis. Inflammation is where the body is trying to break down tissues that are damaged or worn out. It's a process of breaking down that tissue and naturally what should happen next is the tissue is broken down and then new tissue is built. If you have a situation where you don't have the material to build new tissue or the chemistry is not in a healing position or you're too stressed out, inflammation will be continual. You'll have long-term inflammation and that is extremely damaging. Osteoporosis and many other, most other health problems, certainly heart disease, cardiac situations, are the result of long-term inflammation. So you might say, how can I judge my level of inflammation? One simple thing, of course, is wherever there's pain, there's inflammation. That's an easy thing to remember, but we don't always see the pain. The inflammation can be internal, like in the bones. We don't notice any pain, yet still the bones are being broken down by runaway inflammation. So the test I wanna to talk to you about is a well-known test. Your doctors can do it, it's not expensive. It's called high sensitivity C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein is a substance that the liver generates when the body is having a need to repair itself. It's like a signal that says, repair, please. And if we aren't able to conduct that repair, then that signal gets louder and louder and louder. Now, the one thing I wanna tell you, your doctor might say, oh yes, I've heard of C-reactive protein. I understand that's an inducible protein the liver produces when it's signaling a need for repair. However, you want to get a very specific type of C-reactive protein test, and that's called high sensitivity C-reactive protein. It's also often called the cardiac C-reactive protein. As you might have heard, C-reactive protein can predict heart disease 10 years in advance because it detects unwanted levels of inflammation that are at the basis of heart disease 10 years before you actually have known heart disease. The same thing is with bone health. It's an early sign of bone weakening. It's an early sign of practically every disorder if you have C-reactive protein that's high. So my tip to you is one, be sure to get the high sensitivity C-reactive protein, sometimes called HS C-reactive protein or cardio C-reactive protein. And be sure to know that the level you're looking for is a very low level. Ideally, you'd like to have it 0.5 or less. We really don't want very much C-reactive protein at all. It signals that the body needs to repair and is not able to repair. And of course, how do we repair? An alkaline diet, strong nutrients, appropriate lifestyle. My favorite repair nutrient, I've said over and over again, is the alkalinity C buffered C because that is a, the major electron donor that energizes every cell, gives every cell electrons so it can repair better and it can be more fully functioning. Okay, if you wanna know your level of inflammation, ask the doc for the high sensitivity C-reactive protein. If it's anything above one, I would pay really good attention work to reduce that C-reactive protein. Ideally, you'd like to see a 0.5 level. Take care, let's all reduce inflammation, and let's talk soon.